Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up a four spot fixture in Show Express 3D view. Now as an example we're we going to use the Charbet 4 bar as four spots. Um, if we open up setup we've already got a four bar setup with the standard profile that comes with Show Express. Um, it's got 15 channels, mode, dimmer, strobe and it's got three channels for each of the four spots. Unfortunately, the software only recognizes it as a single fixture. Now, that's no problem controlling on DMX, but if we open up the editor and then open up the 3D view, uh, you'll see what happens. If we try and control that fixture, then we just get this strobing effect, and there's no resemblance whatsoever to what's actually happening to the light. So if we open up another one, in this one we've already set it up so that it works properly in 3D view. Let's go into setup again. This time we've broken up the fixture into four separate fixtures. Um, we've got a single channel for the dimmer, a single channel for the preset, a single channel for the strobe, and we've got four spots, each of which has three channels, RGB, and if you look at the DMX channel values, which comes with the manual, you can see that this replicates exactly the number of channels that is used on the fixture for the DMX control. Now these needs to be in sequential order, so the same number of channels. Um, if we go into the editor, you can see now we've got four spots. We've got the auto, the dimmer and the strobe. And don't forget it's important that uh, when you address your fixture that you set it to the first channel out of the group of channels that we used. In this case it was the Mo channel and we addressed it as channel 20. And also first thing you do is set the dimmer channel to 255. So we've got our spots, we've got our three channels, our RGB. We can select it all by selecting the group. Now, if we run our generator, you can see that the lights will now, in the 3D view, you can now see that the lights actually respond as they should do and how we want them to look. Still got the manual control, you can select any of the spots. And you can visualize exactly what's going to happen with your lights without actually having to set them up, which is a good thing with 3D view. There you go, quick tutorial. Thanks for watching.